Welcome back, it's Smashboss here. Today we are going to take a look at some levels. So the first two levels are my latest two levels. So this is the first screen or the first part of a Kaiser level that I want to make. It's called Shell Abuse Tears and obviously it's only a preview because the actual level will be longer so what you've got to do is throw the first shell and then grab the second shell then do this and finally jump over the cannon to get to the exit so this will be the beginning of a new Kaiser level I'm making And the next level I want to show in this episode is my one screen puzzle number 11. So basically I've reorganized some of my one screen puzzles. So the first two, I mean the first 10 one screen puzzles are all old ones. So I've already uploaded them before but with other names since now I just wanted to bring some kind of order into these puzzles and I also tried to give a hint on the difficulty for the puzzles. So my latest one is 4 out of 5. Let's check it out. First of all, you get the spring and you can jump on top. And you have one power block here out of the cannon and another power block and also another red coin right here. So what you could do in order to get the content of this note block you need to push the cannon up with the spring in order to get the spring on this side you can use this power block now you've got the spring here and you've got another power block here you can now use this power block so the cannon bounces on top and here's the trickiest part of the puzzle the problem is if you activate this power block now, so as soon as, as long as this power block is in screen, the cannon will not shoot another one and the cannon needs to shoot another one because the next power block the cannon will shoot will bounce on top of this note block and reveal its content. So if you throw it, then the exit door gets blocked by a cannon so throwing the power block is not the right solution but as I said it's the trickiest part so there's a very special trick that allows you to make a power block disappear. So earlier it was possible to stack more power blocks inside of each other in one specific place but since Nintendo wanted to prevent the game from lagging because of that they created a setup that if you try to do this then one power block just vanishes so now we need to get back the other power block And the power block I'm holding right now, this is the power block that needs to vanish. So you need to place this one in the corner and then, well, no, wait, this power block needs to vanish. So you need to place this one in the corner and then this on top of it. And you can see one power block just vanished 
and well okay it was the other one so the power block that comes out of the cannon is the one you want to you want to lose so first you need to bounce the cannon up then you need to get both power blocks back So this, this is the power block that needs to vanish, so you want to get rid of this one. Now the cannon will shoot another one. This gives you one power block here and also the Bussy Beetle shell down there. So now you can destroy these two blocks and after you've done that you can wear it as a helmet and well then there's one more tricky part and the rest is obvious I think so let's just do it again So now you can put this on as a helmet and you actually need the helmet. So the next tricky thing about this puzzle is that you can use the bomb. So first of all you need to activate one power block and this is because you need to grab the P-switch. So now, well, before you activate one power block, you actually need to change the other power block against the spring. Now you need to throw the spring under the cannon. So if you now activate the other power block, it won't destroy well, it will destroy the mantra, but the cannon will not block the exit. Now you need to release this bomb. And you need to stay so that the bomb is inside the wall. And therefore you need to lose the helmet. Now you can grab the P-switch. And you can grab the final coin. Now all you need to do is go in the door and then activate the P-switch. So if you activate the P-switch after you went through the door, the power block that was on the right side will respawn and the blocks under it will get crushed if you activate the P-switch. So now and then there we go. Now you can enter the door and finish the level. One tricky thing about the ending is, if you place a swamp over the exit in Super Mario Bros. 3 style, then you cannot go through the exit even if you can take damage or something like that. You will just not activate the exit if the swamp is in front of it. So the swamp needs to die first and then you can go through the door. 
And the last level I want to show today is a level by Shadow. So Shadow is a creator I found a long long time ago and he still makes levels. He makes cool Kaizo and puzzle levels and now I want to take a look at simple one screen puzzle 2. I've tried it a few times and I think I found the solution now. So let's check it out. First we need to throw the shell in here. Then the tricky part is we need another shell. So we have to get this shell back or we have to destroy this shell. So another Koopa will come out of the pipe. And here I think this is the way he wants me to destroy the shell because we need another shell. And now this next part is a bit tricky to execute but I think it's cool to have a puzzle like this. So we need to do small jumps that we don't jump over the well we need to jump over the gap but without jumping too high like this now we just need to do the same thing again with the shell and I think this should be it now we can take this and go through the door and finish the level. So it's a very cool one screen puzzle and what I like about these puzzles is that they are not always so easy to execute so there are also puzzles using a bit more complicated tricks but I think this is okay and I really like these puzzles. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video.